and hi everybody welcome back to kid friendly videos if this is your first time here you probably wonder what we're doing but we're doing we're painting Pixar cars and making them custom cars if you haven't seen these videos before what you're looking at now it looks kind of strange because we have a whole bunch of blue cars here a whole bunch of black and white cars and a whole bunch of weird looking cars back here these are all cars from Pixar cars um, what you're going to learn today is how to paint your own die-cast car from Pixar. It doesn't have to be a Pixar car, it can be any car from Mat Matchbox, uh, Mattel, Hot Wheels, you name it, uh, but we happen to have a lot of these here cars from Pixar cars well, because we were collecting them for the last couple of years. And what we do, folks, is we take a car like, uh, for example, we have Fabulous Doc Hudson here, and um, that's the original Fabulous Doc Hudson. We made a whole bunch of cars dedicated to Fabulous Doc Hudson. Like, there's Fabulous Red. We just did him yesterday with red wheels, black tires, number 51, in honor of his friend Doc Hudson. And there's the original Red, of course. We didn't even hurt him. You know, he's brand new. He's the original car we got with the set many years ago. We never hurt that guy. And let's see, we have a whole bunch of cars here that are white and black. They're called Zebra cars. Uh, for example, there's Zebra Jackson Storm, uh, Zebra Chick Hicks, Zebra Lightning McQueen, Zebra the King. And in background here, you see a whole bunch of cars from Cars 3 Demolition Derby. If you saw Cars 3, there was a big Demolition Derby in it. And all these cars were in it there. They're actually not real Demolition Derby cars. Like, there's Hit and Run. They're just grim from Cars 2. I painted them to look like Hit and Run. And uh, all kinds of other cars. There's RV from Cars 3 Demolition Derby. That's actually Fillmore. And Taco. He's one of the trucks from Cars 1. He's now uh, Taco, actually. I don't know what his name was then. And there's, um, I think that's Sigalert. That's actually Ramon. So, like I said, this is your first time here. And what we're going to show you today is how to paint your own car. Now, many people I know have boxes of cars home you're not using, and they're sitting there doing nothing. Like there's, is that, uh, that's not Frank. Yes, it is Frank. It's the Combine Harvester. He's scary. Yes, that's right. He's Halloween Frank, actually. And what we're going to do here, look at this here. Look, I want to show you this here. Our most popular video yet. This is um, the School Bus of Doom. That's Miss Fritter, painted to look like. Doc Hudson again from the Fabulous series. And down here we got a bunch of cars that are the stock cars from Cars 3. There's Cal Weathers and I'm not sure the names of the rest of them. Um, you guys know these here. I forget them all right now. But anyway, there's Tim Treadless. I remember him because he's brown. Here's one of our craziest ones we did. This We made up our own stock car. I mean our own demolition derby car. That's Jackson Storm, number 50. We call him Glitter Storm. So what you do, in order to paint the cars, you don't need very much things, folks. Here's what you have to do. You have to have a piece of paper first to put on your table or your countertop. And I've been using the same piece of paper for a long time. If you're watching me doing these all the time, you see that same piece of paper getting dirtier and dirtier all the time with paint. And I just lay that on top of the cars. See, lots of room. Then I add this thing to it. That's my paint holder. And I have a whole bunch of paint. Watch. This is my selection of paints that I choose from every day. There's every color here, green, blue, uh, that's my primer, I use that all the time. Somebody asked me a minute ago, uh, what do I use for paint, and I, well, I just dollar store paint. There's American Multi-Surface Satin Paint, it was a dollar at the dollar store. There's my green I use, and orange for making Halloween stuff, and purple for making rainbow. I got a lot of rainbow cars there too, folks, and there's a, I use a lot of whites. I have a large white, and lots of black for the tires and wheels, and turquoise, and that's a different color. Okay, I don't use that very much, so let's put that away. Another thing I have is lots of brushes. These are also dollar store brushes, and I'm cut a lot of, I cut a lot of the bristles off of that one for doing fine work, but I don't do a very good job with the fine work, so I, I have to forgive myself there. I can't do any better. If you can do better, do your own and show me. And like I said, all you need is a piece of paper, this here, and those paints, and grab yourself a car. Now, so your car here is Jeff Gorvette. Somebody wants me to do with him as Bubba Wheelhouse. Now, there's Bubba Wheelhouse. Does it look like Jeff Gorvette? Close enough. What do you think? I know that's a next-gen car, and uh, Jeff Corvette is not, okay? So what I'm going to do is get out the primer paint and put a coat of primer on Jeff Corvette to see how it looks. Okay, there's some primer. And I'll pick out a nice size brush. And I think I already did one Jeff Corvette before. Now what you do with the brush, you put it in the paint. And actually, somebody told me to cover the eyes today with tape. That's a very smart move to cover them up so you don't get paint on them. And if you're sloppy like me, you're going to get paint on the tires and wheels. Now, Bubba has black tires and wheels. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll be painting that whole thing black. Now, right now, Jeff Corvette has beautiful chrome wheels and black tires. So I just covered the whole thing black. And this is a how-to video, so I'm probably not going to finish that car today. I'm just going to show you guys what I do first to make the primer version. And then when we finish off uh, Bubba Wheelhouse at another time. We're just going to go through the basics here of getting... 
this car prime to show you how to do it. Like a lot of people showed up today to watch this video because it's a how-to video. Most of my videos aren't how-to, they're just Pixar Customs cars and they show up to watch it. But this year video is going to show up in a lot of people's feeds because it's a, a how-to video and they're probably going to be the first time watching it. And if you're the first time watching our videos, please send us a comment. Uh, hit the like button. You don't have to hit the like button. Just send us a comment and say, hey, I'm first time here. What can I do? And uh, I'll help you any way I can. I do a lot of requests for people and I'm looking for new ideas now. And I got lots and lots of suggestions today. Oh my goodness, I'll never keep up. I'm going to try and not get paint on the windows. If I can help it. And you're right, if I tape them off, it'll be easier. But I stopped taping them off when I stopped spray paint. Remember I used to spray paint the cars down here, but I made quite the mess. Now look, I'm going to redo these taillights red because Jeff Corvette is actually a Corvette. And Jeff Corvette's named, Jeff Gorvette, I should say, is actually a Corvette. And he's named after a racer, Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon's voice was in the movie. He's a famous race car, NASCAR driver. Real nice guy. Real nice race car driver. But he retired last year, I think. But he did really well for himself. Lots of, won lots of races. Jeff Gordon, that is. Now, Jeff Corvette. Actually, Jeff Gordon has the exact same car as what I'm painting right now. They gave it to him as a gift. I don't imagine he had to buy a car like this here with so many sponsors on it, right? So I'm sure it was a gift to him from Chevrolet or from cars, depending on if he used his voice in the movie, they probably paid for his voice. So he probably got the car for free from, from Pixar. Who knows? I don't know the answer to that. If you know the story, let me know in the comment section. Okay, for, oh, oh, darn. Okay, oh, darn. Got to be more careful. Yeah, that guy was right. I should cover the eyes with tape so as not to get any paint in the eyes. I wouldn't want to get any paint in my eyes either. There, we're almost finished with Primer Jeff Corvette. We're not going to bother putting the Bubba Wheelhouse paint on today. This is a quick video. I'm just going to show you how to paint. See? What we're doing is making the Primer. Okay, I'll show you that story in a second. But Primer Lightning McQueen showed up in Cars 3 for a couple of seconds when he was just recovered from his big crash. And now, if you didn't see the movie Cars 3, you wonder what we're talking about. Uh, Lightning McQueen got a big crash in Cars 3. And he ended up back in Radio Springs all gray, primer gray. And I said to myself, wow, I'd love to have that car. Of course, you couldn't buy it at the time because the movie just came out. And then all of a sudden, I made my own primer light to McQueen. And people started watching these videos like crazy. They want to know how to paint the cars. Oh, I'm really having a rough luck here today. Maybe it's a brush I'm using. Be very careful this time. Oh. Change brush. Got to get this fixed right. I took half the paint off there, guys. See that? I'll try a smaller brush. Less bristles. Maybe do a better job. Now, that's the beauty of these paints. Well, you got a few minutes. You can wipe them right off and start again. Okay, here goes up the side. Over here. Yeah, this is a way better brush. Well, it looks like I have to paint the windows after all. I got paint all over the windows, which is fine. I can do them in black. This car got black windows and black tires and wheels. There, mean Jeff Corvette. Now it's actually Jeff Corvette, he's actually a Primer Jeff. Uh, you won't see that anywhere else on, on the internet. If you're looking for Primer Jeff Corvette, you have to make your own because they don't sell it. And all that Mattel would have to do is make a bunch of these cars called Primer Cars, put a few pieces of paint in, a few tabs of paint, a couple of brushes and sell them to kids and you can paint your own. But I'm trying to get people to go to the dollar store and buy their own paint and paint the cars really nice. So there's a couple of cars on eBay for sale that are really good. They're they're actually Pixar Cars custom, one of a kind by really good painters. I'm not that good. I'm just trying to help you guys learn a little bit and do a better job when you're not trying to talk into a camera. So there you have custom uh, primer Jeff Corvette. And let's put that over to dry and I'll show you a few more things. While the car is drying, I get a chance to uh, um, rinse out the bristles and clean up around here. And then I can get to start again, but I want to show you a few more of the cars back here. Back here we have Halloween Mater. Remember him? He's one of the biggest cars. Halloween Mater. He was in a video on Halloween. And back there in the back wall, I got a brand new Miss Fritter. And a brand new Fabulous Lightning McQueen, unopened. I thought this was a collector's item, but apparently it's not, so it may open someday. And look, one of my all-time favorites I did myself. This is Gold Fred. Remember Fred was all rusty? Look at him now, he's painted gold. He's gonna be famous someday, Fred. And then along here we got 
Um, fabulous Luigi and Guido. Let's see what else here, folks. Got lots of fancy cars here. I got the car uh, smashed up rod torque line. Smashed up. And regular rod. It's a Mustang. Check it out. I think it's a Mustang. I'm not quite sure what that car is. And this is one of my other favorites here. This is the Pizza Planet delivery truck. It's actually Mater. See him? Mater's got a hood now because I made it out of Play-Doh. And the box is made out of Play-Doh. And where's the actual Pizza Planet truck? Here it is. Way back in here. See? See? There's the Pizza Truck. And looks kind of like it. And what else? Oh yeah, my fabulous Dusty from Plains. Woo and back here, folks, you probably don't remember this. I got the fabulous Doc Hudson Museum. All the Doc Hudson's in it. And look at this. This is one of my favorites. Chimichanga. That's actually one of the Demolition Derby cars. Now, if you saw this video before, what car is it made from? I won't put it, I won't even say it. Put it in the comment section if you know what that came from. I'll tell you. If you don't know, I'll put it in the comment section. Okay, folks. So that's all we're going to do today is leave that primer Jeff Corvette. And we'll come back at another time and work on making Bubba Wheelhouse. That color with the yellow circles on the side. And I think it's number 63. We'll finish that off and it'll look just like it. Now, for those of you, again, first time here, I hope you can go out and get the dollar store paints and... Paint some, uh, paint some of these diecast cars yourself and send us a link to your videos or your pictures and I'll put them up and I'll even send you the link. I'll put the link on my channel. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.